What's up, guys? Derek, more place, more dates. Com. Today, we are talking about Sean Roden. I just watched a video from uh, Muscular Development. Breaking news: 2018, Mr. Olympia Sean Roden dead at 46. So there's been a slew of bodybuilder deaths recently, and a lot of big notable names in the industry uh, most recently. And I was actually waiting on the uh, Peterson autopsy report because I was gonna do hopefully some sort of educational segment um, given that the context was actually related to you know bodybuilding outcomes. But again, like obviously the first thing when people see this stuff is they wanna hear was it a result of gear? Was it a result of bodybuilding? They want to hear that it wasn't in order to justify what they're doing oftentimes. At the end of the day, they don't know what happened yet. Like no one knows what's going on. This was streamed 20 minutes ago on the muscular development page. They said it's been confirmed now. You know, these guys are obviously the most in the loop of any bodybuilding news network, I would guess, you know, RX muscle, muscular development, etc. These guys are in the know when it comes to being connected with what's actually going on in the industry at like the top bodybuilder level from a, uh, I don't know, like actually knowing like the inside out of these guys' personal lives and whatnot. So, you know, I would take this as, you know, fact, I would imagine. I highly doubt they would publish this if it wasn't. And if it's, you know, true, it's fucking horrible, dude. You know, it's just another one biting the dust unfortunately and you can't help but you know assume certain you know bodybuilding lifestyle um choices you know may have contributed to it you know who knows if it did or not and obviously you know people in the comment section are going to um you know speculate that's uh you know common when it comes to bodybuilding industry nowadays at the end of the day you know i'm sure the what actually happened whatever it may be will come forward but at the end of the day it's just fucking terrible that another like this is a mr olympia like a very very prominent name in the industry who was uh um you know looked up to by many people and many people wanted to see him come back and um compete against rami at the uh, next olympia amazing physique obviously um and an individual who was defying age realistically like him and dexter jackson were like setting the standard for um being able to show longevity as you know shitty as that sounds um he was 46 when he passed away uh sean Roden. it's a very very young age um and he was one of the individuals who was seen as like the careful ones he was the one who like trained carefully he was the one who downsized very significantly in the off season, similar to like a Kevin Lavroni. He would grow into shows and he would not push the envelope very hard in the off season. He looked like a regular fucking dude in the off season and he would push pretty hard when it came to contest. How hard does he push to get into that shape? Like, I don't really know because ultimately he had the shape and symmetry to get away with being smaller than a lot of guys. So you would imagine that would be less burdensome on your systems and whatnot in your body overall but um you know like at the end of the day you know you can speculate you can wonder what happened you know at the end of the day it's just a shitty situation um another one um another prominent individual from this industry being gone far too soon um 46 is absurdly young i'm pretty sure that's pretty close to the age john meadows passed as well um i could be wrong on that but i think he was you know mid late 40s uh, and it's just insane, dude, that this is, uh, there are people in their 30s and 40s passing away on a regular basis in this industry. So regardless if this is related or not to, you know what, because a lot of people are going to be wondering that, um, all you can do is take into account that there are inherent risks associated with this lifestyle and be mindful that you're not invincible with this shit. So regardless of what happened to him or not, like some of this stuff, um, like there are individuals passing away too that just aren't being mentioned in the in the uh, news and whatnot because they're not like big names in the industry. But this shit does not come without consequence. There was this idea that it was like, where are the bodies when it comes to anabolics? And it's like, there are so many people who would say shit like, you know, you can't attribute gear to anybody dying. 
And where are the bodies? And it was like the most absurd fucking statement I've ever heard because this is a chronic accumulative issue. This is something that eventually will rear its ugly head at an age that's still far too young. And maybe you can't attribute it directly because you don't literally take something and then literally drop dead the next day. But having like literal cardiovascular disease development, kidney disease development, these things are going to be silently building up in the background and then are going to rear their ugly head in some people as early as their 30s and their 40s. And you see it pretty regularly now in this industry, unfortunately. So obviously one of the main things would be just not using any of this shit to begin with. Um, or if you're dead set on it, and especially if you're a competitor and you have no choice in the matter, um, being proactive and taking a preventative medicine approach um, would be prudent and be like very, very responsible in my opinion, given how um, few individuals, even at a top level, really take their health seriously. Like I've seen Olympia caliber bodybuilders regiments. I've seen individuals at a high level in the sport from all different spaces, from you know the fitness models to the top IFBB pros at the Olympia. And like you'd be shocked how like little of education really surrounds the risks associated with this stuff and how few of individuals actually take proactive measures to prevent things like um, left ventricular hypertrophy, how to prevent things like even like high blood pressure is like barely even taken care of by a lot of individuals. And that's like, that's like level one rudimentary shit. Um, so anyways, I have myriads of videos at this point about the most protective pharmacology that could be looked at for at least attenuating the risk of this lifestyle. Um, preventative medicine approaches to being mindful of the risks you're exposing yourself to when it comes to this stuff. Um, but ultimately at the end of the day, it just needs to be considered that fucking phone's going off right now. I have my PubMed notifications set to fly off the handle at this exact time. It's super distracting. I apologize. But at the end of the day, you just have to understand and really acknowledge that even if you're in your 20s and you're doing this shit, like every year you're exposing yourself to this stuff, there's a cum cumulative accruement of this risk profile you're building up for yourself. And you have individuals that are prominent in the industry um, passing away now, far too young. They have families and they have people to support. And, um, you know, it's a direct consequence in many scenarios from, uh, from this lifestyle. So you got to be aware of the risks. And um, obviously there is a pros and cons, you know, weighing out of that when you get into this stuff. And most people are, I don't know, at least semi-cognizant of it, but it doesn't become very real until there's like just a fucking slew of like big names for some reason in the news. So anyways, I would highly recommend anybody who is, you know, just taking gear and not doing anything otherwise from a even basic blood work standpoint, having a blood pressure cuff at home, getting their sleep apnea checked, seeing if you have any, uh, like how many bodybuilders have unaddressed sleep apnea and they're slowly killing themselves in their sleeps. A fucking lot, dude. Like there's so many things that go overlooked that are just the basics. So be fucking careful, guys. That's it. So anyways, hopefully, uh, I don't know. That's it for today.